guys, McCann here. So we're gonna do one of the little kit projects I sent home with you. Um, so in your little kits, you would have found a piece of scratch foam. Now if you're not picking up the kit, um, you can use like, if your parents go to the store and get like prepackaged fruit or sometimes like snow peas, they come with that little foam tray. So you can cut out like a piece of the foam and go ahead and use that in your project. And then you're also gonna use um, the cardstock that I sent home. And then not pictured in your little kits, um, I have two different colors of paint here, a pencil, and then um, a little scrap paper. Now on my scratch paper, I pre-drew kind of what I envision my um, scratch one to look like. I'm doing a mandala pattern. You can do what you want, um, but just know that you can only scratch this out once. Um, if you mess up, there's no erasing. So kind of um, pre-plan what you want to print here. All right, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna use a pencil. Um, it's not all the way sharp. I don't want it too sharp. I kind of want that rounded tip. Um, you could probably, use, yeah, like a dull pencil would work fine. You might even be able to use a marker, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pencil here. You definitely want to press. Don't be shy, right? If you don't press hard enough, you're not gonna see the um, pattern that you make if you press too late. So I'm gonna show you this a little bit here at first. And again, I'm taking my time because again, if you mess up, there's no erasing. So there's my first little bit and you can feel the indents here. All right, so I'm gonna go and finish my pattern and then um, I'll see you guys when I'm through for the paint part. Okay, so I'm ready for uh, the rest of my project. Um, just like another little quick note. So um, I really went through and kind of went back over what I drew just to make sure that um, there are lines um, and indentations, you know. Um, anything indented is actually gonna stay white and then the rest of this is gonna be uh, whatever color I choose. And then um, I brought some little paper towels and some wet wipes to clean my plate um, so I can do two colors. And I have like a little piece of scrap paper. Now, um, if you have at home a little roller or a brayer, you can go ahead and use that. I realize uh, not everybody has access to that, so you can just use um, just normal paintbrushes. Uh, I'm gonna do the blue first. So I'm gonna go and paint this. Blue. I probably should, um, you know, just gonna do this quickly. A nice even layer, okay? You want to go ahead and do this evenly. Just put your paint on there, smooth it around. too much paint in those little crevices. All right, and then you're going to um, line up where you want it on your cardstock. We'll put it right here in the top half, and I'm gonna put the corn down the bottom. Be careful not to um, get the blue how cool is that? Now I'm going to do the orange. So I'm going to take my little wet wipe here, clean off my plate. Now when I say plate, I don't mean like food plate. This is actually called like a little plate that you made. And the awesome thing about this is I can use this as many times as I want. <laughs> if I don't like that, I can try again. Uh, as long as you have more cardstock. Or you can make these, uh, would be wonderful holiday gifts for people, like for family. Um, you know, so you can just use as many colors as you want and then um, make like 
a nice little uh, Christmas gift or you know Hanukkah gift or Mother's Day gift is coming up. You can give one to your mom, get some to your aunties, your grandma, whoever. Um, now I'm gonna do the orange. So again, I can just put this right on top. A nice even coat. You don't want too thick. But you definitely want the paint on there or else it's not gonna show. I did orange in this teal because they kind of contrast. I think that'll look cool. I could have cleaned this off better too, but I'm just, for the sake of time, I want to show you what our little present project's gonna look like. All right, so my plate is covered with the orange. I'm gonna put this right below the teal. Oh, got a little bit extra. You can tape, put some um, masking tape down on the sides and that will help your print um, from getting this like little orange marks that I made. All right, peel this off. And again, how neat is that? So I have my um, two little pictures here. So um, go ahead and um, make some prints of your own. Um, if you guys decide to do the mandala, cool, but if you want to do a flower, fishes, whatever you want, um, it's your art, so you can do it your way. Um, but I really hope that I see some pictures. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.